my name is Ilya and you're welcome back to my channel why did I start my video by wearing a wig and that is because today we are addressing wigs in relationships anyways if you're just joining me today if this is the first time you're watching the video on my channel thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you stay and keep watching my videos and the only way you can do that is if you subscribe to my channel how do you subscribe to your channel simple all you have to do is click the subscribe button down below that says subscribe just click it and don't forget to click the tiny bell button also by the side which is a notification button that will make sure you get notified whenever i post a video and also to my old subscribers thank you so much for watching every wednesday i post videos here every wednesday well let's get back to the topic of the day weeks in relationship so with that said, why am I addressing wigs in relationships? Guys, African ladies do not come with the long straight hair that you guys love so much. No, we come with very short coily hair, sometimes they're long, coily hair that usually lack edges. And so the only way we can look fly and not look like your grandmother is by wearing this lovely thing that I have on my head, which is called a wig. Yes, it is a wig. So, what are some rules that you should abide by when it's in an African wig or West wig? One, never ever discuss your girl's wig in front of your friends. Do not do that. As far as you're concerned, your girl's wig is her natural hair and it is very, very real. And it is not a topic of discussion, even though everyone knows it's fake, but act like it is not fake. And it is not a topic of discussion because it's really embarrassing when you come and say, Oh, is this a new wig? <gasps> Shh, it is not a wig. Just say, It's a new hair, baby. And I'll be like, Yes. And as you're doing that, do not touch it too much because it might just fall off. And then there might be issues. Two, act like her wig is her natural hair. Yes, as far as you're concerned, it is your solemn duty to ensure that she feels like her wig is natural. And what do I mean? What I mean is, when you look at me, do not look at me strange like I'm wearing something funny or something foreign. As far as you're concerned, the wig is real. The wig is her hair. Even if she wears blue today, pink tomorrow, cream next tomorrow, orange the next day, as far as you're concerned, it is her natural hair. And never, ever act like it's fake. Three, never stay at a lady who wore a wig to your house the previous night and woke up looking like a horse because the wig is off. <laughs> Do not allow us catch you with that stare. Like, God, it's very funny when a guy sees you for the first time with your wigs off. Like, they just look at you like, close your mouth. It is real. As far as you're concerned, the wig is there. You're not just seeing it. Like, act like you didn't see anything. Do not act shocked. Pretend like the wig is still on and pretend like it is so real. We can't. Oh my gosh. You really would not be able to stand the trouble that you'd be in. Four, do not grab an African lady's wig or an African lady's head whenever you want to kiss her. Because you do not know if that one is fixed or if it's just one. Imagine you're just kissing the lady and then it goes on. Oh, oh my god, like that is so bad. That won't be that won't be nice at all. If you want to kiss an African lady, stick to holding the neck like this. Yeah? And do not come like this because when your wig falls off, it's really embarrassing. But you take the grace of the Lord Jesus for her to look at you in the face. So please, do not grab her hair when kissing her. Grab her neck, touch her neck, okay? Stay off the wig. And finally, whenever an African lady asks you for money to buy her wig, do not complain. Even though we know some wigs are as expensive as lands, do not act like it is expensive because when you guys buy the same shoes over and over and over again which are expensive by the way we never complain so please do not complain about the price of a lady's wig because it's really a 
cuts the soul like it pierces you here if you can see me and press it like the heart is electrocuted the heart stay away desist desist and desist is it desist and desist or desist and desist I don't know desist anyways I hope you guys heard the warning and this is a warning to guys to guys in general please abide by these rules and you shall have a peaceful weak full relationship which is very beautiful by the way because when your baby is looking fly you gonna feel fly right anyways guys <laughs> that's all i have for you today and if i made you smile just a tiny winky winky bit give this video a very huge thumbs up and don't forget to come back next week for another video and i am still on my love series next week i'm going to be having a guest over to discuss a very important topic because I can't be doing this alone. I need people in my life, you know what I mean? Thank you for watching. You can follow me on all my social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I am Sincerely Celia, and on Snapchat, I am on ABTZ. Thanks so much for watching again, and I will be sure to see you next week with another video. Bye!